Hello everyone, I'm Bogdan. Now, this video will guide you through the color splash feature within InstaDoodle, which you can use to turn your doodles into colorful masterpieces. So let's get right into it. So let's see where we can find the color splash features in InstaDoodle. First, we'll focus on the built-in library that we are constantly updating, and now contains over 2000 color elements. If we look under the characters tab, we'll notice a mix of black and white and colored doodles. We also have a new small switch next to the filter button. Enabling this will show only the colored elements. We can use this filter to browse through the available characters in the library, such as David or Professions. Similarly, in the Props tab, we're greeted with our classic black and white doodles, along with the new colored ones. We can also enable the color switch here and use the filter to browse by category, for example, food. But what if I need a very specific character for my project? So what can I do if I cannot find one that suits my needs in the library? Well, we can generate any colored doodle, character, element, background using our updated Doodle AI engine. You can access this by clicking the Generate with AI button. You will notice two new options after selecting the drop down menu. Besides the black and white styles, we can now select color styles, specifically color caricature and color cartoon, with more to come in the future. These styles also work with generating colored backgrounds. You'll see color doodle and color cartoon as an option ready to use. Now let's see how we can use the color splash in a real case scenario. We are currently working on a project that you may be familiar with. Now I've already generated the background for slide eight and it definitely needs a character, Joey, to be the main focus. So let's use the generate with AI button to create one. First, I want to make sure that we are generating the element using the color caricature style. I'll use the following prompt, a 30s male, tall build with short hair on the sides, curly hair on the top, large glasses with light frames. He has a short patchy beard with a mustache resembling a light stubble. He looks happy and smiles. He is dressed in a casual open collar unbuttoned shirt over a t-shirt and jeans. He is holding a large goldfish round tank with both hands. This detailed prompt helps keep the character consistent across the project. For more in-depth guidance on this, check out our character consistency tutorial in the tutorials tab. Let's hit generate and see what we get. Now, I actually like both of these. I'll save both in my library in case I need them in the future. But keep in mind, every doodle you add to your library after it gets generated is saved in the custom tab. The scene looks much better now. I like to add a car to the background. Let's search the color library for a car under the props tab. Hmm. I really like this Mustang. I'll add it to the slide, move it to Joey's left side and change the layer order. Now the slide feels complete. It looks great, right? Let's check the animation types for each layer and preview the slide. I will set the background on fade and reduce the animation time to 0 0.5. We'll set the Mustang on slide. And for Joey, I'll use the draw animation that has been updated to support the colored doodles. If we play the slide and focus on the drawing animation, we can see that the hand draws the doodle outlines it first and then the color fades over the outlines. For every colored element, there's a new option in the right side menu in the properties panel to disable color and switch to the black and white version. This is perfect if you want to mix styles in your project. But for mine, I'll leave everything in color for now as it looks way better. And that's a wrap. Congratulations on completing this tutorial. Now remember, if you experience any difficulties, me as well as my colleagues from the support team are always there, one ticket away. So make sure that you reach out to us with any kind of issues. Thank you very much for listening.